Okay, here it is, 7.19 p.m. It is 9.9.21 Thursday. We were John C. Roseman, California, Yankee Television Games. Yeah, upon watching CNN, this link will be sent over to a gentleman anyway. I'm here in the interplay, well, between Chris Cuomo and Don Lennon. Sometimes I like these guys. They're interesting. But Mr. Lemon was bringing over the uh, controversies concerning about the masks. Trying to get his take concerning about some of these idiots expressing their First Amendment views and how masks are supposed to be the evil villain of everything else in life. And it threatens our life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Except to keep forgetting uh, life, they remember liberty most. Pursuit of happiness, forget that noise. So when you keep showing, and also the local media does this from time to time, especially when you get news cameras in there, people want to get themselves in the, can in the faces on, uh, you know, they want to get their 15 seconds of fame. Well, if they want 15 seconds of fame, get themselves another damn video camera, show themselves doing something stupid, post it on YouTube. That's how everyone else does it in the first place. But regarding the damn masks that we have to wear, wear in the first place, they're irritating, they're cumbersome, they're multiplying like crazy sometimes. And I still have to wash these damn things, especially the washable ones. But the other ones we can just toss out, right? Of course, I've seen and heard the arguments for that one. Then again, there's usually the publicized ones that we have the arguments regarding the local masks. Oh! And it does work. It's the lip tards. It's this, it's that, it's you idiots, why are we doing that? Well, if I actually made a remark and went over here, Google and YouTube would yank my ass out like crazy, so would Twitter. And Facebook. And a remark would be something similar to the daily effect of saying that Dearly beloved we are gathered here today to give you a public service announcement at the behest of the fallen and stricken. Let us remind you folks who do not wear the masks and refuse to take the vaccines on account of your so-called mental disorders, various as they are manifested throughout the decades and formed into this brain fog. As the rest of our fallen companions and companions and compadres are before us here. In name only, may we remind the so-called non-vaxxers and non-maskers to have certain information updated before they strike on their path to the glorious afterlife, if they're going to ever get there in the first place. Let us make sure that they actually have their documentation, their travel documentation for that. No, we don't need the COVID passports and we don't need the U.S. passports for these folks. No, no, no. We need the passport of telling St. Peter exactly why they got up there in the first place and what their reasons were and to see if their mortal remains were taken care of while they were still expiring at the counter. Understand, beloved people out there, that we must share this with everybody. And my message to the beloved anti-vaxxers and the anti-maskers who demand their peace, their freedom, their liberty, their individuality, to make sure that when they go, they better go quickly and decrease the Earth's surface population. 
Do it with joy. Do it with a lot of gasping for breath and wondering if you'll ever get that coveted ICU bed with a ventilator. And understanding that the loved ones that you leave behind will have to deal with the paperwork and the financial costs dealing with your afterlife passage. Understand, you must verify before you go see St. Peter that your medical insurance was all paid for and covered for everything that you're suffering and undergoing through. Understand that you may have an advanced medical directive on file that may prevent you from sticking a tube in your throat to make you breathe. Understand that you may not have assigned yourself an ICU bed with the coveted, with the coveted ventilator and the lovely staff who are threatening to jump out of windows at this point just for taking care of you because you couldn't take care of yourself and did, at the same point didn't take care of everybody else at the same time. Joyous! Joyous! We will sing hymns to your praise at this point over here with the proverbial Bronx cheer in continuous notes while we spray any potential virus variants that we may carry in our unvaccinated and unmedicated bodies that we have contended to, to the lovely religion and the lovely belief of the COVID-19 here to bless us all with its with its afterlife passage. Shall we proceed on contaminating the rest of the world as anti-vaxxers and anti-maskers, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? Let us begin to depopulate the Earth's population. And the crowd did not say amen. And the crowd just dropped dead because they could not find any ICU beds. Amen. Okay, now since I got that sermon off my damn chest, insulting as it may be, good. And surprisingly enough, as it is for the past couple of years, or nearly that point we're getting to, we have several more months and we'll be getting to that point of the two year, that carrying these damn things are a pain in the ass. Unnecessary pain in the ass. I do not have a ventilator in my damn back pocket. I do not have access to a hospital bed. I do not have access to an ICU, let alone hospital staffing. Because should I ever decide to take that route instead of cross contaminating people just because I was that dumb? You know, I am planning to rush to live here with my life and everyone else's life. But the thing is, we're not thinking about common good. We're not thinking about the common people at this point over here. Oh, hell no. We're thinking about the individual at this point over here. We must kill people. Ugh. I dare use the word that social media groups don't like to hear. And they may have it against the terms and conditions at this point over here. The K word. I would prefer using the euphemism of afterlife passage because this one is a little softer and easier to deal with with the harshness of sticking your poor sorry covid inflicted carcasses into incinerators and turning you into another form of air pollution or better yet service pollution of the of the ground or even better yet, water pollution in the ocean. Thank you very much. Am I being sarcastic enough at this point? I mean, am I, am I actually being okay regarding this? Because I just want to make sure I have this right, okay? The glass is hard because I can't put this damn thing on here right. So, you don't mind. I'm going to get tricky. I've already missed Star Trek Day because I was dealing with my own <laughs> grieving of passing family members a few years back well before COVID, so it screwed up my celebration for Star Trek Day, which was mm -hmm. September 8th, 1966. I was celebrating 55 years. So if you don't mind,
live long and prosper. Except if you're the non-vaxxer and non-masker, then I'm going to say, nice knowing you. To Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo, Nanu, Nanu. And keep the faith, clearly. Keep the faith. Yeah, I love these damn things. All over the damn things. I was wearing this damn thing for uh, 2020. And I can keep this shirt in good, good, good enough condition without any food stains on it. And it might last for another two or three more weeks if I'm lucky. But anyway, guys. This I don't wear at night. But I'm going to have to go outside. It's usually wearing these damn things anyway, so. But I just want to show you that. Also, one more thing. One more thing, okay? One more thing. A couple more things. Can I show you this one, Don? You see that? Yeah, and you too, Chris. You see that? Over. Hang on. Hold on your hats. Got something to show you. Ooh, look what I got. Looky, looky, I got hooky. A little personal information here. What does it say on here? What's that logo? See it? Yeah, baby. Yeah. And this is a guy who hates needles. All right? This is a guy who hates needles. Then I have to get stabbed. And I really got a thing against medical establishments, but I like breathing. I like life. I like living. So uh, you may post some of this stuff out there, be my guest. But I'm telling you folks out there, if you want to save your ass, screw your damn head games at this point over here. Because that's all you're doing is your political head games at this point over here. Unless, of course, you want to meet with the COVID face-to-face -face and then say hi to the ICU beds. Or better yet, go to the damn hospitals. Go to the damn hospitals and talk with them about it. If you know anybody in the medical establishment at this point over here, have a nice long, lengthy talk with them. Including the people over at the nursing homes, assisted care living places, ER trauma, ER admitting. I think they'd give you a lot more world of information than the scientists can, get, can give you. What the reality check is and what the hell they're going through. But if you don't want to deal with it, go ahead and go into the afterlife and decrease the surface population. I don't think I want to deal with you, and I don't think I want to meet with you. And if you think I'm already going to hell, I've already been there. Thank you very much. I came back. You weren't there, by the way. <laughs>